Have you ever been in a crowded room and you hear you know, the buzz of conversation going about, but then you hear your name? It doesn't matter if the person is talking to you or about you, but when we hear our name, what do we do? We turn towards that person. We kind of, our attention is drawn towards it because our names are important to us. They signify oftentimes a birthright, a place in a family, uh, historical significance of the li in the life of a family member or, or th that particular family, or it could just be the name that our parents liked. You know, they were struck by it. But it's by this name that we become associated in our community, in our family, and in our own lives, in our own hearts. We identify with that name. We oftentimes find out what the meaning of that name is because it's important to know who we are. Well, Jesus knows who he is. Jesus has come into the world to bring forth a peace, a reconciliation, a sanctification that only God could bring. And as we celebrate this feast of the holy name of Jesus, we recognize that that is the name that is above all other names. And that oftentimes, if you're like me, when you hear the name of Jesus, you bow your head, even so slightly, recognizing the sanctity of that name, the holiness of that name, the special nature of that name, because that name is important. It is the name above all other names. For it is the name of our Savior. It is the name of the one who came into the world not to be served, but to serve, who showed us the way to the Father, who is indeed the Lamb of God. He is the Son of God. He is the one who takes away the sins of the world, John reminds us. And when we pray that prayer in Mass, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. We recognize that in that name, there is something special. There is something unique to Jesus in his sanctity, in his holiness, in his love for us. And that is the sanctity that we are called to bring into our lives. That is the holiness that we are called to exude. That is the name that we are called to place above all other names and to bring into the world as his agent, as Jesus' agent. We recognize that in the Christ we have the one who has been promised by the prophets, has been, uh, who is the, for the uh, fullness and the uh, fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And as such, uh, we come to recognize uh, the special nature uh, of Jesus in our lives, especially in this Christmas season, in this time when we, that we, the church sets aside to recognize the birth of Jesus, to recognize that it is by his nature, it is in his name that we gather. Uh, and as a people of faith, we come to recognize the goodness of Almighty God. May we, as we celebrate this feast of the holy name of Jesus, as we place his name above all other names. May we be unafraid to profess his name. May we be unafraid to take upon ourselves his name. And may we be unafraid to share that name, that life, and that holiness with all whom we meet.